Effects of Discretization on the K-Width of Series Elastic Actuators K-Width is the range of virtual stiffnesses which a robotic system can render passively. In the accompanying paper, we derived a closed form bound on the K-Width of Series Elastic Actuators while considering both sampling and the zero-order hold imposed by the computer interface. This video will visualize the experiments we described in Section 4, demonstrating that our theoretical K-width constraint is supported by hardware implementation. Experiments were performed on a 1 degree of freedom series elastic actuator. A DC motor, 1, controls the position of a linear slider, 2. A bidirectional spring, 4, has been placed between the slider and the load, where the spring's displacement is measured by 3, a linear encoder. Through simulations, we found that large pure masses are the most destabilizing operator. Thus, a load mass, 5, is attached at the output of our series elastic actuator. During experiments, the series elastic actuator attempts to render a desired virtual stiffness. A malicious user perturbs this SEA system, as shown on the left. If oscillations of the load position decrease in magnitude after this perturbation, we can conclude that the series elastic actuator is passive. The load position is plotted on the right. As you can see, when a virtual stiffness less than our theoretical k-width bound is chosen, the system behaves passively. On the other hand, when a virtual stiffness greater than our theoretical k-width bound is chosen, the system behaves non-passively. We systematically found the maximum virtual stiffness that could be rendered at various sampling rates by repeating these experiments. Our results are plotted here as the green axis. Notice that the independent axis is the sampling frequency, while the dependent axis is the normalized virtual stiffness. By comparing our experimental results to the upper bound of the passivity region, we found that the derived k-width bound has less than an 8% average error across 10 different sampling frequencies. We would like to thank our funding sources.